What is going on, Sharers? Welcome to the vlog. I have no idea how this vlog is gonna go today. If you haven't been keeping up, there's been something in our pond and it's absolutely huge. It's some crazy type of monster. And that's exactly what we're going to find out. We're gonna find out where this monster came from. So we're going outside. It's super windy outside, but I got my waterproof boots on. I got my coat on because it's freezing cold. And I really wanna find out what this monster is, where it came from, and again, like I said, Sharers, I have no idea what's gonna happen in today's vlog because I have no idea where this monster is. So let's head down to the pond quietly, to sneak up in case the monster's around here. Let's keep an eye out on the pond. Sharers, at any point in this vlog, comment if you ever see a monster so I can go back and review the footage. Now it's super windy out today. Normally it's completely calm and the water doesn't make any ripples. And it makes it a lot easier when there's no ripples on the pond to see if there's any movement going on. But now there's a lot of movement on the water. So it's gonna be hard to spot if there's anything in the water. And yeah, I'm gonna steer clear of the edge. Cause if you didn't see Carter's vlog yesterday, we actually got our first sighting of the monster and it was huge. I don't see anything. What? Oh, there it is. Whoa, there it is. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> what is that? What is oh my that? gosh. so scary. What is Wait, that? Look, look. It's still oh coming. God. And I'm not sure if that thing's still in the pond, if it climbed out of the water, where it is, but I don't want to get too close to the ledge because that thing was huge and I feel like it could just come up at any time. Also, the pond water's not very clear. Check this out. You can only see about a couple inches down. Look at this. And then the stick goes in and you can't see, but it's not that deep. So the thing could just be like a couple inches underwater and we might have no idea that it's even there, but it could probably see us. Also, last night we had a very big rainstorm and things started flooding but I caught on the security camera something very suspicious. Check this out. Did you see that, Shares? There was definitely something in the pond and it went somewhere over that way and it either went down the drain or it climbed over the ledge and went into the creek. I'm not really sure how it could go down the drain. Whoa, there was something there. Look at that. What was that? Oh, okay, something was there. Could that be the monster or was that just the koi fish? I don't know, but I'm gonna steer clear from the edge. I'm pretty sure the monster's not in here because on the security footage, it looked like it went down the drain or across into the river and maybe went back to another place. Maybe it was like going somewhere else to get food or maybe it came back. I don't know, but check this out. But let me show you what the drain looks like. It's pretty small and the monster's head that we saw in Carter's vlog actually looked pretty big. Oh, there it is. Whoa, there it is! But who knows, this monster is probably comes in all shapes and sizes so it probably can like squeeze into little things. But check this out. This is the drain of the pond. Ooh, I don't wanna get too close to the edge. But here's the drain of the pond. It looked like in the security, oh, whoa, it's making some noise. It looks like in the security footage, the monster either came over here and then went and went down in the woods there, or somehow it slithered down that pipe. Which kind of makes sense because how would the monster have ended up in the pond in the first place? It had to come in from somewhere, and that's exactly what I want to find out. I want to find out how the monster got into the pond. Something tells me the monster wasn't just born in this water, something brought it in. Maybe it came hunting for the koi fish, or maybe it came hunting for something else. Oh yeah, check this out. My guess? that the monster went down here. Check this out. It's perfect. It probably slithered down there, and then there's a creek on the other side. Oh yeah, that probably makes so much more sense. It probably went down there, so check this out. Here's the creek, and let's follow the creek and see where it ends up. Look at this, Sharers. The shrubs are completely flattened out like there's been animals back here. There's definitely enough water back here for an animal to like swim through, so it definitely could have gone down this creek. Let's keep going. I want to find out where this thing goes. So far, the water looks pretty crystal clear. Like This water looks clean. So did the monster go down this way? Let's look for, oh, look at this. Check this out. There's some type of footprints and stuff. Look at that, something there. Something there, something here. It looks like something slipped when it was over here. Let's see if there's any more footprint marking. So the pond is right over here. I'm guessing the monster came down this way and maybe up on this hill. Or the monster came down this way and kind of slipped on its way down here. So, so far we found two clues. We found evidence that there was a monster in the pond. Whoa, there it is! And now we found a path that it probably used to come in. Paw prints right there. Well, let's keep going. We're getting on to something, Sharers. Oh, and yes, Sharers, there's more clues. Check this out. I was right. Look, big footprint there, another print there, another one there, another one there, and more up here. They're going that way. So either, so it looks like it comes in and out through here and then slithers into this river thing here. Let's go underneath this tree and let's keep going. Oh, good thing I got my waterproof boots on. We are on to something. Keep going. Oh, these shoes are not waterproof. Nope, these shoes are not waterproof. Oh, no. Okay, those boots are not waterproof. That's okay, Shares. I'm determined to catch this thing. Or at least figure out what it is, so let's keep going. Okay, so we made it through all this shrubbery here. 
we're out to this main section here. This is pretty interesting because people walk across this path. So my question is, this monster must come at a time when people aren't here. It must be scared of people for the most part. Otherwise, I feel like people would have reported seeing this monster thing slide in and out through here. And I'm also looking to see if those footprints or anything is in here, but so far I don't see anything. If there were, there'd probably be some on this flat part here. Yep, and it gets pretty deep. Oh! Check that out, shares. There's four huge tunnels. This is probably exactly how the monster got through. Probably either lives in that tunnel, or there's something on the other side of that tunnel, which leads us probably one step closer to the monster's nest. So let's keep going. Climb down these rocks. Let's check this thing. Oh, check this out. Okay, there's a clear opening to the other side. So it looks like there's no monster in it. Oh, wait. Shares, those are either rocks or monster's heads. Let's pay close attention. Okay, I don't see anything moving, so I'm just gonna assume those are rocks and that the monster probably slithers its way through this tunnel and its home is probably somewhere on that other side. Let's keep going. We found another path for it. Let's get to the other side of this ah, tunnel. Let's get a closer look. Yep, those are definitely just rocks. Shares, I don't think I wanna climb through this tunnel. The good news is there is a road over top of this tunnel. So I'm gonna go across the road and see what's on the other side. Whew. Okay, let's go across the other side. Whew. Oh, check this out. Okay, clear path and the river continues. And check out these woods, look at these vines. This is crazy, this brings me back to like the haunted woods. Maybe the monster has to do something with the haunted woods, like it was someone's pet and they couldn't control it so they released it and then it swam up all this stuff and landed in the pond, I have no idea. Okay, so we're back in the woods again. Hopefully this time I don't get lost like last time. I'm not even joking. Oh, we're checking out. <gasps> Do you see that? Shares, there's a fox. Come right now if you saw that fox. Oh, that is bad. That means there's some type of food source around here. That fox was just chilling out, eating something. Oh my gosh, Shares, let's go check it out. Maybe it was eating a dead animal or something else. Keep a close eye though. Oh, look at this, we are getting close. Check this out, hold on. Check this out, look. Something there, a footprint there. And then check this out, ready? Footprint type thing there. Footprint type thing there, and there. Shares, we're either going to the monster's home, or maybe it's this fox's den. And I think whenever there's one fox and there's a fox's den, there's probably multiple foxes. So we could um, be ending up in something very bad. But uh, I, I wanna find out what this is, so let's keep going. Yeah, shares, and also shares, definitely don't try this at home. If you see a fox, steer clear of it. But I gotta find out if that fox was eating something related to the monster, or if that fox has like a home over here. Ooh, careful. Well, that's weird. Maybe this is what the fox is after. This is like a bird feeder that fell off a tree. Maybe like one of these super tall trees. And maybe there's bird seed in it, so maybe that's what the fox was eating. Shares, keep an eye out for the fox. I have a feeling it could be right behind those logs right there. Cause I didn't see where else it went. And if I'm getting close to its home, it might be very angry. Oh, oh. Okay, that might've just been a bird. I'm not sure what that noise was. I'm just staying a little bit alert cause I don't know where I am right now. But check this out. There was another jar. Like what is going on? Why there's so many jars, and it's super windy. It's getting super windy out. Whoa, and check this out. Whoa, what is this? This is like some jungle type stuff. Look at this. What is all this? Okay, this could be a very, very big clue. This is like some jungle type of tree stuff. How did I never know this was here? This is so weird. Check this out. Look at this. All this bamboo stuff, this is crazy. Whoa, this is awesome. Look at this, straight, tall, huge bamboo. Look at this stuff. Wow, it's super strong too. And there is so much of this bamboo. This is crazy. Something also tells me this could be a good nest. Look at it, it's right next to the creek. I think could slither up and live right in here. And the river goes right here and the bamboo starts here and it's super thick. Something tells me the creature probably lives somewhere in here. Something also tells me I wanna go and see uh, how deep this bamboo goes, so let's get going. Check this stuff out. I've never been inside a jungle of bamboo. 
I feel like I'm literally in like the Amazon rainforest. Oh, hang on. Look at this. Look at this. Okay, look. First little section could be something. And then check this out. Second section is even bigger shares. These are two huts of homes, I think. Oh yeah, I think I hit it straight on shares. Something's definitely living in here. Let's just keep a close eye. If you see any movement, comment so I can get out of here before the thing attacks me. It is thick back in here. But check it out, it's actually so cool. Look how thick this bamboo is. Okay, share something definitely, I think, lives in there. Check this thing out. I'm actually really scared I probably should not be back here because something probably lives definitely for sure back in there. But check this out. This is definitely, look how deep that hole goes. Something goes deep down inside of there. Something's definitely gotta live inside of there. That is just crazy. I just wanna look how far back that goes. It just goes so far back. That is crazy. Sure, this bamboo section is perfect. Check it out. The creek goes right here. There's a section here. The monster probably climbs up. Clear pathway that something's definitely been back here. There's definitely a home here. And then there's definitely something back there. At first I thought this thing was just a mud pile, but check it out. Look how far back it goes. I want to get a flashlight and like explore that. It just goes super, 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 super deep inside there. <gasps> oh my gosh, hang on. What is that? Oh my gosh, shares, check this out. Look at this. That's either a rock or that's something else. Check that thing out. What is that thing? What is that? Do you see that? Oh my goodness, shares, check this thing out. This is probably a really bad idea. Don't ever poke something in someone's nest, but check this thing out. Look at that. What is that thing? What is that? Oh my gosh. <gasps> and there's one there. Check it. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh, shares. There's definitely some type of animal back here. Check this out. Look at this thing. Look at that. What is that? Look at this. Ready? Ah! Oh! Okay. Sorry, that was a shadow. That was a shadow. I think that was just a shadow. That bamboo makes a lot of noise. Okay, I'm gonna touch this thing quickly and then I'm probably gonna have to run because I don't know what's gonna come out. But Sharers, comment what you think this thing is. Ready? Here we go. Oh my gosh, Sharers, look at that. Look at that. What is this thing? What is that? That's definitely some type of egg. Look at that, it's either, it looks like, oh my gosh, look at that. It looks like it's trying to hatch. Sharers, what kind of egg is this? It's got green on it, brownish. What kind of egg is this thing? I don't know if I should take this thing or not. I feel like I should take it, but I'm also really scared if I take it, something bad's gonna happen. I'm just gonna poke around. It's some type of baby egg. Is this a bird's nest? Like, there could, oh, hang on. That was some noise. It's either a bird's nest, and there's like a bird's tree up there. That is, that's kind of a big egg. And it looks like it's about to hatch. That thing is crazy. That looks like some type of lizard egg. Okay, I told you we ran into something. That is probably monster eggs right there. Whatever type of egg that is, that is probably monster eggs. The thing probably crawls into the river, grew up somewhere in here, swam around here, and somehow got over. Whoa, and check this out, look at this. This thing has never been filled with water. Oh my gosh. This is supposed to be a dry pond. This thing has never been filled with water. This is normally just like gross, kind of marshy land, but never actually has water on it. This is the only time I've ever seen it with water, and there is a lot of water on this thing. And that makes perfect sense. It's been raining a lot here. And the river where we found the eggs is right here. So we found the eggs right up there in the bamboo right there. The thing probably comes down here. And as the water gets deeper, oh look at this. This is definitely some type of murky water. So it comes through here and it goes into this dry pond. And then from the dry pond, it goes into those tunnels there. And then the tunnels lead back to the stream, which lead back into the pond. Which makes perfect sense. Shares, I think we actually found the monster's home. And it also makes sense why the monster's showing up now versus never before, because this thing, and there's something in the water. Check that out. You see those ripple effects? What is that? Shares, come right now if you see anything in this water that it could be. This actually makes perfect sense. Once the rainstorm came, it filled this thing up enough, and then the monsters had enough water to actually swim, and they started looking for food and looking for places to go. So they swam through the tunnel over there and ended up in our pond. So that means that monster that we saw yesterday in Carter's vlog is either still in the pond, or it comes back here to check on its babies, and more are gonna come and end up in our pond. So what do I do, Shares? Do I destroy the eggs? Could this be a friendly monster? I have no idea. And we gotta figure out what this monster is, where it is, and get it out of the pond for good.